right? Or seeing him? Mm -hmm. Did you see him live? Let me ask that. Uh, yeah, Sacchini at, uh, at Banfield for sure, um, and then a little bit at Malaga. Uh, so he's, he's a guy we've had on our radar for a while. Um, it's always tough for a, a young player to go try and break into La Liga and, and get minutes. Um, it's hard to do, but 16-17 uh, when he went back to Banfield, he was one of the best uh, midfielders they had that season. He had a really good season. And, um, so he's been on our radar, and, and we keep in close contact with the agent down there as well. When a player like that goes through a situation like he, he went through, especially last year, where he was kind of like, it's kind of out in the wilderness almost, where he, he didn't have a settled place where he was playing, do you look at that as an opportunity, especially if it's a player that you had your eye on before and maybe he was out of your price range as a 20-year-old, but now all of a sudden he's got this year of not a lot of playing time and he's available again? When we, when we f start to follow guys, those are opportunities that, that I see are chances to pull a guy out. You put him in a new environment where it's positive, he's playing, he feels good about himself. Um, there's many reasons why things don't work out for players with not getting playing time. Sometimes it's just the player in front of them is a fantastic player. It's hard to break in. Um, but I think you know, him arriving today, he looked comfortable playing against the starters. Obviously, you don't want to tackle. It's leading up to a game. but. Uh, he looked comfortable, he wants the ball, he was able to play one touch, he had good awareness, so um, we're happy with having the chance to bring him in, even on loan. Well, Silva, it um, sounds like it was a late uh, deal over the past couple of days. Um, what did you like about him or in his past MLS play? Do you think of? With Silva, I was happy that uh, I found out today talking to Stefan that they were teammates and, and uh, Stefan actually took him under his wing in Toronto uh, when he first came into the league. He's a player that we watched through that draft um, and obviously his experience at DC and Salt Lake and he's proven that he can score goals and create uh, in the final third. So for us to be able to add some depth to that position is, is a positive. Did he have a break in play before going to Finland? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the timing of exactly how, how much time was off, but sometimes those deals when you leave MLS, there's, there's a break. And, and the, the Finnish season is, is a little bit shorter, mm -hmm. just based on the weather. You've touched a little bit about it, but you know there, there are times where you guys bring in players who uh, perhaps have that are free agents, they haven't played for a little bit, and you guys feel comfortable bringing them in. Is that just because of you guys' way of doing things and just kind of giving players that, that ability to maybe get reacquainted? Yeah, when you can bring a free agent in, it's it's great for the cap, for one. But I think as you follow players along the way, um, as I said before, you ha you have opportunities that a new environment for a player, um, and you can surround them with good players. And I think it gives them an opportunity to show well. And I think good players usually come to the level that they're at. Uh, and I feel like when our starting team is out there, we're one of the best teams in MLS. And if we can surround them with players who are willing to attack and keep possession, um, you know, I think both players fit that role for us. When it comes to that sixth position, I mean, you guys have so many players that play that position. Obviously, it gives you options, but, you know, was there maybe an intent to uh, bring in a winger or a forward or other players? I think in the 4-2-1 formation, we were looking to bring one extra player in that central position, and as Brian touched on it, some teams in the world, the 4-2-3-1, the two can play right and left. They don't have to play one offense, one defense. They can play right side, left side. So there's different ways you can play that formation. And I think, you know, he's a player who can play either way. He can play as a six who's holding more or an, an eight who gets in the box. He, he has a very good shot from outside. So I'm sure at some point we're going to see him unload one of those shots. Is there, like, because of that or what you have, is this one of the more versatile rosters that the team has had in franchise history? I would say the balance of the team is one of the top teams we've had uh, since I've been here. I think the the depth in each position, the competition in each position, we need to get everyone healthy and everyone able for selection. And I think when, when that's the case, I think then we have a very strong side and we have good choices that the coaches can make.